I'm speaking to this group of people. Once you transact via M-Pesa and uh, pay your cash to pay bills or uh, pochi la, la biashara, anything that is beyond 100 shillings, unachajua certain transaction charges na wewe haikuumi. I'm speaking to you. These transaction charges, they have a lot of impact in your life. If you took the, the money that you are charged per day in transaction charges, then put it in money market fund, it would bring a different dynamic. Remember, some of you have family and in the morning you have to buy breakfast. And breakfast you have to buy two components. Most likely you're supposed to, to buy a diaper and maybe buy, buy bread and milk. Those are three products. They are over 100 shillings. So you will be charged 7 shillings. Then lunch time, you are expected to buy something so, uh, for the family lunch. Maybe you are buying githeri vikombembili and maybe chapo and something ingredients. It's over 100 shillings. You are charged other 4 or 5 shillings in, in, uh, in, 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 in the Empesa pay bill. Then you will meet around four, maybe since the family something has, has is not there is not there in the in the house. You have to go and buy. And another thing you are will have at six at six p.m. You will go outside and buy buy supper. Since you have a family, maybe the family will uh, the cost will be over two hundred or three hundred shillings. Now those transaction charges you meet uh, in the whole day. You will meet your transacting the transaction charges are coming to forty two shillings. So once, because in the morning you bought two things, lunchtime you bought three products, at four you bought one product, then at supper you bought three products from different people. All those five, four shillings, four, three shillings, add up to 42 shillings. 42 shillings times 30 days, that is over 1,200. If you are in the model of saving 5,000 per month, then you add these 1,200 that you normally use in transaction. Utakuwa mbele sana. We said for you us to be rich, we have to compound either either on uh, the amount you save all the all the time. If you are saving small amount, you have to save it in a longer period to get to hit to your goal. And if you are saving a large amount, now you are advantage because you lose lesser time to achieve your target to, to achieve the target. Remember, it's not how much you earn, it's how much you save. So that is why we are telling you kindly subscribe to our lesson. Financial Literacy Class 101, head to our YouTube search browser, type as one word, at sign, Financial Literacy Class 101, as one word. Or if you're in TikTok, just go to my profile page, click my YouTube, YouTube, YouTube button every day. A whole TikTok will be updating you once we upload content because all of us, financial literacy is not about being stingy. Is a, something that was never taught in school. So regardless, whether you are you are very educated, you have your master's PhD, is relevant to get this lesson. If you happen to drop class eight or maybe never got school fees to go beyond form four, you it's also relevant to you. All of us has to integrate financial literacy. It's a skill that everybody needs to be empowered. Once you find out our our content resourceful, kindly kindly share to your family members. For, the, for all of us, the whole community to get, to get educated. So, thank you.